everyone, hello everyone, it is me, AG Lover, one, two, three, four, forever, with another craft video. Now, lately I have been falling in love with American Girl doll sets. They have just been absolutely amazing. But as you know, I live in England, so I'm not spending a lot of money to get the American Girl doll sets. So I've been watching a lot of American Girl doll ideas videos lately, and I thought, why don't I make the um, TV and entertainment set? But this is going to be a series kind of thing where I'm going to go step by step on how I'm going to make it. I technically want it for Christmas, so um, let's ha let's see how that goes. But um, today I'm making the very basic things. The remote, the screens and the DVD cases. Some of those things I might not be able to do depending on how long I have. But let's get started. So. First of all, I'm going to show you what I'm using. So for the actual remote cases, I'm using Kipling boxes. I used to have cakes in. And I'm using um, these, um, what shall we call it, paper clips. I'm using glue stick, scissors, paper, and a pen. So first of all, I want my Mr. Kipling box. Okay, I've got two just in case I want to make a smaller one or something else. So, I'm just going to like tear this off and be careful what kind of scissors you're using, people. But, um, I'm going to cut the trim off. You don't have to use glue box, something like this. Okay. So now, cutting it. I would use cardboard, but um, I just want to have my resources that I have at the moment. Okay, this can be tricky to cut, but you might, you will get the hang of it. So I'm going to cut here, basically, there. There we go. And go straight down. So I'm cutting off the side panels. So this bit is pretty tricky. Okay, it is pretty um, tricky. All these kind of things are tricky, so if you struggle, let's just um, just ask for parent help or parent supervision. Okay, so I finally managed to cut it out, and now I'm just cleaning it with a wet wipe. So it might be a bit greasy and dirty. I know that's really hard to, but if um got anything that I can hold it up against now that's not really helping but it's it's not very straight so I'm just gonna cut it not so it goes smaller but just so the plastic straight it's really cold in here there we go I've got a bit of a straighter plastic now so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just push all my plastic pieces and I'm going to Place my plastic on the paper so I know exactly where I want it. I would recommend starting at the corners, don't just glue like right on the centre because um, you're wasting paper and nobody wants to waste paper. Put the glue onto the plastic and then place it on top. So now they should be stuck together. For, for actual layering, use the glue stick and just um, paste over it. So it's like, should stay sticky-ish. And then fold it over, so fold like the top bit over. Okay. So you should have something like this. Don't worry, your plastic is inside. It won't slide out because you've added that extra bit of glue. Now you want to fold to where you know that it starts. Mine starts there. So you don't cut on top of it or cut too far away. So now I'm just cutting out my piece. So I've got something like this now. And I want to make sure that I've got every single bit off that doesn't need to be here. So I'm just cutting off. So I have my remote, but it's a tiny bit 
bendy and flexible. So I'm just going to keep on checking. Every bit is off. A bit of an easy understanding. So I want to know how big my screen for my American Girl or TV is going to be. Now this is just an A4 sheet of paper, so um, I'm thinking that an A4 sheet of paper might just do as the perfect size, but sometimes it could be smaller because the rim and then you get all that. So I'm going to make it smaller. And how I'm going to make it smaller is I'm just going to sketch around the corner. I know it's not really sketching because so I'm using a pen. So I have this corner. Can you see that? Wait, if I just use my bit of plastic here. So I have just this corner. So what I've just done is let me just do it on this side as well. I've just sketched it. It's like corner. It's not visible. Okay. So the reason why I'm doing this is because with the American Girl doll one, when you buy it, you get a um, some screens so your dog can be watching different TV scenes. So I'm going to do, for instance, Aspen Heights. Aspen Heights is the craze in the American Girl doll world right now. So what I'm just going to do... Aspen... Alright, so I think this is for season three. But anyways, um, I'm going to draw Alita's head here, looking out and then all the colouring. But I just want this to be very quick and easy. Okay? So I've drawn it out so I know how big I want it to be. And Aspen Heights is going on one of my screens. Okay? This will be coloured in, but for now I'm just using this because it's a very basic plan. Which will be used later. So I'm going to use another one and I'm going to use the exact same tech. Okay, so I've done two, well, just not totally glue. I've done two screens. I am going to do more, but because this video is going to be pretty long, I just want to get on to my last few things. So, so far I've made my screens and my remote. Um, next, I'm going to show you why I said you needed a paperclip. So, for this, you're going to want to bend your paperclip. So, you should have something like this. Just bend it as if it's like a seat. Okay. And you want to just keep on bending it. So, I've got that seat shape again. Okay. I'm just going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to... Link it in there and twist it out because you want you want it kind of to be unfolded. Like if it's unfolded, there we go. So you have an unfolded. <coughs> sorry, so you have an unfolded piece. And this might be a bit hard, but you want to just cut into it so it turns. So you can then turn it so it helps kicking like as long as you have like a straight bit here that's okay and um just wanna make sure you have this nice straight bit that's just gone off somewhere that's found sorry for that paper clip is gone okay so I'm just do it very quickly again because it's just flinged off somewhere and I'll have to find out at the end of this video. But, um, oops, something like that. Okay, so I've got my straight bit. And this is what you need to do. Once you've got your straight bit, you want to grab just another sheet of paper. If you have any scrap bits, use your scrap bits. And I'm just going to go straight down. 
So I have a long sheet of paper. Okay. And then, oh my stuff is going missing. <laughs> I just lost that as a paper clip. I had it two seconds ago. Okay, if you keep on losing your paper clips, which I have, just use the plastic off the access cases. And you want to insert it in the middle. I was going to use a paper clip, but obviously that wasn't going to work. And I'm just going to put my glue stick down the middle to insert my plastic. If you're wondering what this is, this is the CD case to keep all your CDs in, of course. And then you want to fold it so it fits over. But then you'll have this nice little bump here, which makes your CD case. So you're probably thinking these are a tiny bit big to be DVD cases. This is because it's going to be music discs. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of albums as well. So my daughter can listen to music. I mean, who doesn't like listening to music? If you guys want me to put some templates for these things on my blog, please do tell me and I can put templates up to save you guys the worry. So now you have your CD thing. This is just to make it a lot easier. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my design. I'm having Taylor Swift 1989. Like I said, these are all going to be coloured. Which is now my little cover. And last but not least, for the last bit of this video, I am going to draw my CDs. So I'm going to grab my um, piece of scrap paper, I'm going to fold it in half, cut a slot in the inside, okay, and then you want to go fully around as if you're going to do a love heart, but you're just going to keep on going, no dip, no dip, no dip, no dip, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, and you're in, there we go. So I have two of my CD cases, now I'm just going to cut a very, very, very tiny hole there, so my CD has like an actual place where it can fit in. I have a CD. This is very novelty. I am not the best maker in the world. But this is just like a spare, I don't know, because I wanted this video to be quick and also to introduce what this um, topic's going to be. So in this video today, I've made two slides, Aspen Heights and Karaoke. We have made a remote control. We have made a CD and we have also made an album. Okay, bear in mind that you're gonna have to obviously make like a bigger disc to go inside this album. Um, next time in this video, I will be showing you how I'm going to make like um, the DVD box, which will be an absolute challenge. But um, I managed to think of this, so hopefully I'll be able to think of that. Um, these will all be coloured in, but like I said, I did want this to be a very quick video. And um, as I'm not fantastic at editing yet, to make it go all quick and everything. You know what, I just thought I might as well just do a really quick video. So please stay tuned in for my next video. It might be in two days from now or it might even be tomorrow, it depends. Um, but yes, thank you very, very much for watching this how-to video. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up, like, well, I just said that, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. And um, yes, please check out my other videos. And goodbye for now, everybody. Goodbye. And I really hope you enjoyed this video.